When Inside Out 2 was announced, I admit that I was not excited for it. Inside Out is my favorite Pixar movie, and sequels always beg the question, was this movie really necessary? So when they first showcased now teen Riley's new emotions, anxiety, embarrassment, envy, and ennui, my first thought was, is it fear similar to anxiety? And I guess the writers also expected the audience to ask that. So they pointed out the difference between fear and anxiety when anxiety first pops up in the second film. Anxiety says that fear protects Riley from harm they can see, while she protects Riley from the harm they can't see. But in the first film, I remember Joy asking fear to look at the possible outcomes of Riley's first day of school. So isn't that what anxiety is about? Being afraid of possible scenarios? And this got me thinking, how many of the Inside Out 2 emotions were somehow felt by Riley during the first film? Of course, I know that as a kid, emotions like anxiety, embarrassment, envy, and ennui aren't as prominently felt as when you're already a teenager. So this video is really just for fun. And a reason for me to rewatch Inside Out, which again is my favorite Pixar movie. And if you haven't already realized it yet, this video is not about Inside Out 2. I'll reserve my thoughts on that film for another video. Anyway, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Zidney, and let's try to spot Inside Out 2 emotions in Pixar's Inside Out. Anxious about the first day of school. Okay, so I already mentioned this example in my introduction. But when Joy asks Fear to look at the possible outcomes of Riley's first day of school as a new student, this emotion could also be represented by anxiety. Again, Fear is protecting Riley from harm they can see, while anxiety is protecting Riley from things they can't. And possible worst-case scenarios, things that haven't happened yet, kind of fall into the category of things you can't see. Hence, anxiety should probably be the emotion that Riley felt here. But again, maybe as a kid, this is something you're more fearful of than you're constantly anxious about. Embarrassed about crying in front of class The second Inside Out 2 emotion I spotted was embarrassment. This happened immediately after Riley was called by the teacher. Riley shared about missing Minnesota and then started to cry in front of the whole class when sadness touched Riley's memories. I felt like Riley would have been embarrassed to have cried in front of her classmates on her first day of school. Envious about her old team's new player. When Riley's old friends found a new teammate, I felt like Riley could be envious about it. You could see in her face how she didn't want to hear about her old team's new hockey player. But it was anger that took the rain. Possible nostalgic about her old life. Wasn't it nostalgia when Riley remembered all the memories she had with her family and friends in Minnesota? Or nah. Obviously, I'm not an expert on emotions, so I don't know what emotion Riley exhibited, but I felt like it was a lot like nostalgia, right? And last, Anui. Nah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't find an instant when Riley felt bored. So let's go to the next. Embarrassed about her parents. The real final Inside Out 2 emotion I spotted in the first film is embarrassment again. This was during the end of the movie. I felt like Riley could have been embarrassed about her parents cheering her on so loudly, especially with face paints on. So there you have it. Those were the instances in the first film when Riley could have felt Inside Out 2 emotions. But again, as a kid, I guess you don't really understand these emotions as anxiety, embarrassment, envy, ennui, or even nostalgia. So maybe that's why they didn't appear in the first film yet. Or I'm just overthinking the lore and the world building of this film franchise. After all, I don't think they already planned out these emotions when they were making the first film. Okay, before I end this video, I just wanted to express why I love Inside Out. I did say several times that Inside Out is my favorite Pixar movie. 
Okay, so at the beginning of the film, I was so annoyed at sadness. It's like, why does she have to ruin everything? But then as I reached the film's conclusion, I learned that we really need sadness. Rewatching this movie after learning about sadness' pivotal role was really insightful. That's why sadness was acting weird. It's because Riley was trying to bottle up her feelings. Sadness needed to be felt, but joy was pushing her aside, causing sadness to act all weird. And this film, you know, it resonates with me so much because people know me as a very cheerful person. So when bad things happen, I tend to put on a facade that everything's a-okay. But just like in the movie, I learned that I can't bottle up my feelings. I can't push aside what I really feel. Because sometimes in life, all you really need is a good cry. I have a little cry. Check. Then I pick myself up. Check. Dust myself off. Check. And keep going. The show must go on. Woo! Hi guys! I know it's been a month since I uploaded a new video. That's because I went on vacation. I went to Taiwan and then went to Tagaytay for summer camp. But now I'm back. So stay tuned for more videos. We're going to talk about Inside Out 2, how to make millions before grandma dies, the Kung Fu Panda franchise, and Cobra Kai. It's going to be a very busy year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye!